We're at 11.3 and we're going to build three-dimensional shapes. Now for those of you who have a 2012 copyright of the GoMath textbook, this lesson is not in there. You're going to see 11.3 as the next lesson, 11.4, that we're going to do after this. We can build a rectangular prism with unit cubes. We use the top view for the number of unit cubes in each row and the number of rows to show. We use the front view, so here's the top view. We use the front view for the number of layers. So it has three in each row, and there's two rows, and the front has two layers. So we can actually lift up this to show you. See how there's two layers? And they're stacked on top of each other, see? We cannot see all of the unit cubes in this rectangular prism, and we know some unit cubes are hidden on the bottom layer because they're supporting the top layer. So imagine if this cube wasn't there, this one would fall down. This one is supporting the one on top of it. So we've got a lot of them that are hidden. We can see these back here are hidden. When we put the layer on top, we can't see them, but we know they're there. If those two weren't back there, then this one and this one would fall down. So we know they're there. We use our imagination and picture that they're back there. We have three in each row. So there's two rows. That's six unit cubes. We have two layers. That means we have six plus six. And that's equal to 12 in all. We have a 6 plus 6. They're just stacked on top of each other. See? This is a rectangular prism. It has the same number of unit cubes on each layer. There are none missing. We have the same number on each of the three layers. This is not a rectangular prism. It has a different number of unit cubes on each layer. Can you see the difference? There are none missing here, and here we've got a couple missing here, and there's some missing here. That is not a rectangular prism. For this rectangular prism, the top has three in each row, and there's three rows. So it would look like this from the top. We have three in each row with three in each row. That's nine unit cubes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can even skip count by threes. Three, six, nine. And the front view shows two layers. So this would be the front view. It's these six right here. We have nine unit cubes in two layers and nine plus 9 is equal to 18 unit cubes. So we know this rectangular prism has 18 unit cubes, and the shaded squares show the top and front views. Here it's telling us to build a rectangular prism with the given number of unit cubes. We need to shade to show the top and front views. We think each layer needs the same number of cubes. In order for it to be a rectangular prism, each layer needs the same number of cubes. So how can we split up 20 so that we have the same number on each layer? Well, there are several answers, but I think we could do a 10 plus a 10. That means we would have a top view of 10 squares, we can color in a 5 and a 5, and that could be the top view, and the front view could be two layers of 10. So we could make two layers with 5 going across. We have 10 on the top in two layers, and they look the same, don't they? The top view and the front view. What it would actually look like is like this. And look, the side has got four. See that? 
but we would have 10 plus 10, that's 20. But the top view and the front view won't always look the same. That only happens sometimes. Here the top view and the front view are different. We can build a rectangular prism from the top, front, and side views that are shown. It's telling us that the top view looks like this. We have 5, 10, 15 cubes in the top view. We can see from the front view that there's two layers. The side view is showing two layers, and it's also showing the three rows, isn't it? We have three rows in the top view, and it's showing one, two, three rows. Imagine that this side was over here. You can see what it looks like, see? We have 15 cubes in two layers. We added 15 plus 15. It's 30 unit cubes. We can see the top view, we can see the front view, and we can see the side view. Emma uses 27 unit cubes to build a rectangular prism. The top and front views are shown. Shade to show the side view. We can see the top has three rows, so the side must have three going across because it's going to be connected here. So we know it's got three going across. The front has three layers, so the side must have three layers. We've got three going across and in three layers. The prism would look like this. We've got nine on the top. We've got three layers in the front. And the side has three and three. See? That's nine plus nine plus nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen, plus nine more. 8 plus 9 is 17. We regroup the 10 and put the 7 down. And we have 10 plus 10 is 20. It's 27, just like it says. We have three 9s that are equal to 27. Tala built this rectangular prism. How many unit cubes did she use? And we think we can count the unit cubes on the top. We have three rows with four in each row. So that's 12. Then we count the layers, one, two, three. We have three layers of 12. That's 12 plus 12 plus 12. We can stack them to add them. We have two plus two plus two, that's six. We have 10 plus 10 plus 10, that's 30. That means there are 36 unit cubes. We count how many are in the top, then we count how many layers they are, and then we add 12 plus 12 plus 12. Bob built this rectangular prism. Then he took it apart and used all of the cubes to build two new prisms. Circle the two new prisms he built. We think the number of cubes he used building this first prism will tell us how many total the two new prisms must have. We look at the top and I see a row of five and another row of five. That's 10. We have 10 in two layers. That's a 10 plus 10. That means he used 20 unit cubes. We need to find two prisms that have 20 unit cubes total. We look at this one. We see there's two, four, six on the top layer. We have two layers of six. That's 12. We see there's one, two, three, four here. And we have on the top, we have four and we have it four times. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We need two of these that equal 20. If we add 12 plus 4, is that equal to 20? Hmm. 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. 
And if we add 12 plus 16, that's too many. 12 plus 16, that would be 28. We only need 20. If we choose the 4 and the 16, that would equal 20. He could have used his cubes to build these two prisms. We have 16 plus 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. We regroup that and put a 0 down here. And 10 plus 10 is two tens. That's equal to 20. These must be the two prisms he built when he took this one apart and used all of the cubes. So be very careful counting the number of cubes. Remember that a rectangular prism has the same number of unit cubes on each layer. Our next lesson, 11.4, is going to be about 2D shapes, and we're going to learn how we can identify a 2D shape just by the number of sides and vertices it has. That's sides and corners. I hope you'll join me there, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.